uh, rotten balusters here. Okay. Um, um, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. Um, that, let me get a measurement real quick. That's a, um, and the top will be the same as the bottom. It's, uh, all right, so you go almost to five foot, so you'll need two ten foot, and we'll split, and then, um, I would put new spindle set for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And is this one okay? That one's okay. All right, so I'll let that go. And that's not even soft. So we'll just do one side. And is that it here? Yeah, for, for that one. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, sure. The next thing is right up above. Carpenter bees have gotten in, um, and he told me there was some sort of resin he could put in there. Bondo. Okay. We and, and here's the trick with Bondo is that if we have a firm surface all the way around the hole, mm -hmm. you know, it's like if it's good wood everywhere, mm -hmm. and then a little dent in the middle, okay. then then we can push that in, and it hardens just okay. like it does around the car. Okay. And that's an easy one. Okay. So there's that, and yep. then right up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the. Some, uh, little I see. It's a um, a fa uh, a siding board. Yeah. Just one. Is that right? For the front, yeah. There'll okay. Be, there's okay. more on the back. Sure. Okay. So on the front, that's all that I um, notice as far as rotten wood and, okay. and whatever. There looks like a repair about 12 feet up in the middle. Is that right? There's an odd shape in the middle of that fascia and but i'm just going to suggest that um what's got to happen when we bondo the carpenter bee runs is we'll put it on there and we'll need a, some paint yeah and i'm yeah. basically my paint speech is that if you've got some it's easier if because no, i didn't leave it when they did the um chimney they didn't leave it for me sure okay but uh, I'm just going to tell you, part of another estimate I had asked him was for pressure washing, washing yeah. the house. Yeah. My father um, mm -hmm. is retired and he has agreed to do the painting. Okay. Um, but of course, I've had about five years of not pressure washing. Yeah, that's so long that was, that was part of it. But the pressing issue at yeah. the moment was the rotten stuff. Sure. Okay. So you um, would like for us to leave this unpainted? No, go ahead and paint. Paint it, okay. Just, yeah, what what we'll do is um, we'll we'll um, when we take this apart, we'll clean a section. It might be the underneath, okay. or whatever's cleanest, and um, we'll take it into Sherwin Williams. Okay. And they'll paint match it. Okay. Okay. All right. So that was just one I have, and like I said, it's uh, an instant on the pressure washing. It yeah. Great. Sure. So you uh, you do want a pressure wash estimate? Yes, sir. Okay, uh -huh. I'll do it. Um, right here, um, this window seal was the next. Sure. Next rotten. Randy Harward, I think. I think Randy did this. Did. Was it Randy? Dennis? I don't remember. Don't remember. They. Okay. I mean, they did a really good job. Are sure. you talking about the, the yeah. chimney? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, Who, whoever. Okay. Who yeah. Whoever did it, they did a really good job. Um, you got a. Well, that's hard too. It's it's kind of poofy. Kind of warped, isn't it? But it's it's not moving, and that's all you want it to be. Okay. Um, for whatever reason, uh -huh. and you see this. Yeah. Um. Is it? Yeah, that's soft, and that's called a window nosy, and that comes out, and we put a new one on. Okay. And um, right there. <laughs> That's a little soft. Okay. And that's all. Okay. What else? Um, the next is uh, damage to my dogs. Yeah. They, when they were puppies, chewed yeah. up that board right there. They were eating the mason yes, eye. Yes, they were. <laughs> and you can see the door facing. It is I don't know uh, about the door facing. Um, sure. Jay has suggested that when my father is going mm -hmm. to be painting, yeah. that we just <clears throat> sand it down and sure. sand the rusted spots. And sure. He said he wouldn't change that out, but whatever you think. It's optional. I'll tell you what has to happen is... Um, we put a product up there now for all of the door brick molds. It's called PVC, and um, it's uh, 
a plastic and it will never rot okay so I know that doesn't help you a lot on a sale but um I wanted to ask you I'm kind of looking this as a, a buyer uh -huh. and you've got failed points rot um, and uh, rust uh-huh and uh I didn't know if you had a plan for that or you you wanted to kind of let that go the rust spot the rust that was spot. what he what he uh, and I'm just telling you what he said I yeah. know nothing about construction sure he said um that he would suggest sanding it down okay and uh, paint when my father paints it just sand it and paint over it okay but no, that's not. I mean, I, I'm not wanting to put a whole, whole lot. I know. You know what I mean. I, know, I, want, I, some, I want it to look okay. You want the house sellable. My father's going to mm -hmm. paint, like yeah. I said. Sure. And then yeah. the deck, too. Mm -hmm. Pressure washing the deck. I sure. Mean, okay. Everything. Uh, okay. I mainly, but whatever you think. I mean, sure. I, I've never sold a house before. So. I will tell you that you will lean on the advice of your realtor because she walks through uh -huh. all houses all the day long. And it's exactly what she does. But um, I will say that the one thing you want is a house that's clean enough so people will walk in and say, hi, this looks well maintained and taken uh -huh. care of. And you're right that you're in dire need of the pressure cleaning because uh -huh. these gutters like they are. And um, you know, it's the highest hopes that you can get it on the market quickly and get it sold. Mm -hmm. Because I think the market starts roughly now in the sales because mm -hmm. they're popping yeah, up. Yeah, I'm waiting on the, whether I get the job or not. Yeah. Oh, sure. So. Sure. No question. <laughs> but um, did you want a quote for deck pressure clean? Yes. Okay. And what we would do is take all of these pots mm -hmm. and we're going to put them out by that, I guess that's what is a cedar tree. And um, we're going to clean everything really well. And what we use is basic bleach. Okay. And um, some people use a fancy word of sodium hypochlorite at a various percent. The stuff you get in the store is about, mm -hmm. depends, three to six. Mm -hmm. And the Home Depot's got an outdoor. I think it can get up to like eight to nine. And there are some things that we can get at exterior pressure wash towards Garner that goes to 12 to 15. But it doesn't need to be that mm -hmm. that high in molarity to, to work. So, um, you know, it's basic bleach. You'll be fine. We wet everything thoroughly. We add a deck and a house cleaner to it. It's, um, it's a concentrated chemical that helps okay. loosen the dirt and make it go away. And and then we start rinsing. And you got to rinse with enough pressure to get the bad off and not uh -huh. tear the house up. Yeah. A lot of guys tear houses up. When we come out to decks, it's been ripped to shreds all the time. And... We can't have to plane it down and sand it and kind mm -hmm. of fix because, you know, overzealous pressure washers are not good. Okay. Did you want the little house done, too? That's correct. There's two of them. Yeah. Two little houses. Yeah, there's okay. two of them. That's okay. Yeah. One. Sure. All right. Um, while you're at it, could you also give mm -hmm. me an estimate mm -hmm. on painting the deck? Yeah. Seal it. And you uh, you pick the color and I will, we will yeah, put it on. Yeah, it was no a reddish color. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, it was that right there. And uh, you get a picture of the color. Let's see where my picture taker button right there. 